Hello guys and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So here in the UK we've had wet weather quite a bit recently and I've been dying to try this antenna out but today the weather is great so here it is. Now this is the Radio Oddity CBL561 mobile antenna. Now it can be tuned to cover between 25 to 30 megahertz obviously not at the same time but this means you could use it for either the 11 meter band or the 10 meter handband. Of course, in this video, I'll be testing it on the 10 meter band, and that is because 10 meters is wide open today. So not only do we have nice-ish weather, 10 meters is also open, so it's a win-win. Now this antenna is pretty chunky in terms of that the loading call down towards the base, and that's most likely because this antenna can handle up to 500 watts PEP. And the antenna is made from aluminium alloy, or should I say aluminum for my American friends, but either way, it's constructed very well and has a real sturdy feel. Now you also get a little rubber seal and a couple of Allen keys, which we'll need in a moment when we come to tuning the antenna. Now the base of the antenna is essentially a PL259 plug in which we will attach this to a Radio Oddity M916 heavy duty magnetic base. The top section just screws into the middle section like this, just make sure this is as tight as possible as obviously you don't want that coming apart. Now you also find a grub screw on this part and that's used to loosen or tighten the top part and this is the part we move up and down for tuning. Obviously as mentioned a moment ago you cannot use 25 to 30 megahertz at the same time but we will look at the available bandwidth when we look at the VNA plot later in the video. Now the rubber seal that you also get in the box attaches to this part now this will hopefully stop any water ingress between the base of the antenna and the actual antenna mount which is on your vehicle. As mentioned earlier the antenna mount I'm using is the heavy duty M916 which is also from Radio Oddity. Now this has three powerful magnets which do work really well and yet each of those magnets do have rubber boots to protect the paintwork on my car. Believe me I would not be putting it on without them. Now if you're wondering how long the antenna is, well it's around 44 inches from the base to the tip and that's when it's tuned to around 28.4 megahertz and using this particular antenna mount. Now talking of tuning, I now need to tune the antenna so I'll connect the coax to my VNA and see where it's resonant. Now I've featured this VNA in a few videos in the past and I absolutely love this thing. Now it's a little large and there are some small ones on the market, but for me, this is just perfect because I can take screenshots, it's clear to see, and it just works really well. Now the first SWR test appears that the antenna is resonant around 27.344 megahertz, but ideally I want this around 28.5. So I made the antenna slightly shorter. Now this time the resonant point was way higher than I wanted, but I did get a rough feel of how much to shorten or lengthen it. So now I lengthened it a little more and then finally ended up with this 1.1 at 28.4 megahertz. Now this is perfect for the SSB voice portion of the 10 meter band. So now it's time to connect the antenna to the radio and see if we have any activity on the 10 meter band. Now for this video, I'm gonna use this FT710 from Yesu. Now I'll make a dedicated video on this radio because I absolutely love this radio and I only recently got it. I know it's been out a little while now, but I absolutely love this radio so far. So let's take a listen and hopefully let's make some contacts. You are free Delta Victoria, Charlie, you are free Delta Victor Canada, you are free Davis Teacher, that is called Blue Radio Mexico 2 Delta, Radio Mike 2 Delta, thank you. You're in and out, but even when uh, you're showing zero, zero, I can still read you, so you'd be like zero, one. But uh, anyway, uh, when you're up, you're five, nine, and when you're down, you're down. Over. Mike Zero, Delta, Quebec Whiskey. Mike Zero, Delta, Quebec Whiskey. Good afternoon. Uh, very strong signal, five and nine, near Moscow. The name is Matt. Mike Alpha Tango Sugar Roger. Oh yeah, Roger. Yeah, my name is also Matt. My name is also Matt, Mike Alpha Tango. Mike Alpha Tango. I'm actually mobile at the moment, currently in my car. And uh, yeah, you're also five and nine. 59 into the UK this afternoon. Uh, thank you very much and uh, doing an excellent job there, uh, Matt. I'm using a, a hex beam at 19 meters, running a kilowatt into your direction. And I think the 
conditions are pretty, pretty okay, uh, both for long distance and uh, short skip within Europe. Thanks a lot, and uh, 73s. Yes, yeah, 73, bye-bye. From uh, hearing deficiency. <laughs> so uh, I have to listen closer uh, to the uh, uh, speaker uh, to hear uh, sometimes. Uh, you know, I mean... Yeah, I know, I'm 76 years old. Mike Zero Delta, Quebec Whiskey. Mike Zero Delta, Quebec Whiskey. Mike Zero Delta, Quebec Whiskey. Good afternoon, 5 by 9 Yes, you're 58. 58 into the UK. The operating name here is Matt. Mike Alpha Tango, QSL. Thank you, Matt. My uh, name is Adi Alpha Delta India. 73, bye-bye. Yes, yeah, 73. By the way, I'm mobile. Mobile, just uh, for your log. I will write my Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey Stroke Mobile. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Whiskey Alpha 3, Yankee Delta Blue. Uh, good morning, Keno, and uh, thanks for taking my call. First time in my logbook. Your signal is uh, 5 by 7 and peak with QSD. Microphone back to you. Oh, secure on 10, secure 10, 2 echo 0, echo Papa Bravo, 2 echo 0, echo Papa Bravo, listening. Uh, Mike Zero, Charlie, uniform, uniform for you, brother. Mike Zero, Charlie, uniform, uniform. Echo Zero, echo Papa Bravo, return and then uh, the Q3, 15, hold on, east coast of England, over, over. As mentioned earlier, to get a tune of 1.1 at around 28.4 megahertz, the total length was set to around 44 inches. Obviously, this may change for other vehicle types and other antenna mounts. Now, for those of you wondering what battery I was using to power the FT710, well, I was using one of these. It's a Bio NO 12 volt, 20 amp hour, 240 watts lithium iron phosphate battery. Now, these batteries are just amazing and this ran my FT710 at 400 watts. Now granted, I didn't make loads of contacts or spend hours out, but I can definitely recommend these batteries if you're looking for something to power your radio while portable, or even in the case of an emergency if you're in your home, if you have a power cut or something like that. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and also hope that you managed to get out there on 10 meters while it was open. This time of year always seems to be that way, so maybe I might even catch you on the air. Until the next video, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one.